welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button please subscribe and click the like button okay let's get to the topic at hand so I want to share with you today four anti-anger tips four anti-anger tips number one is if the person if you're angry at a person focus on their qualities and not their shortcomings everyone has qualities and so if we focus on their shortcomings or the thing that made us upset then we'll be angry and we'll stay angry and so i know it's a challenge but the answer is to focus on their qualities not their shortcomings number two remember that kindness is more powerful than meanness kindness is more powerful than meanness and so being angry a lot of times could can lead lead to being mean or doing things that are unkind and so when you're angry just remember that okay I can get my way I could turn this situation around by being kind instead of upset and angry so being kind leads to good things happening whereas being mean and angry doesn't being mean and angry it makes things worse not better so that is why kindness is more powerful than meanness and it allows your your life and the situation to be blessed and for God to take over the situation and to turn it around into your good also realize that we need to accept others opinions and their differences that's number three so people you don't have to agree with them they don't have to agree with you and so you're respecting you're honoring other people's opinion that could stop you from being angry and it helps when you realize that we all have different experiences different backgrounds raised in different environments and so that's why people make different decisions in life it's all because of their background how they were raised how they were what they were taught and those type of things and so just remember to accept others differences in their opinions just as they accept yours so that will help you that will quell your ang ang uh, angry emotions also realize that you're not perfect that you have flaws too we all have flaws and so the person we're angry at or the situation that's usually caused by another person, another human, we all have flaws. Not only them, but us as well. We all have flaws. And so that helps us to be humble. And that should calm our anger. So in general, our anger, in general, unjustified anger is unhealthy and it can ruin our health mental physical it can cause uh, damage in our lives it's a waste of time sometimes it's used as an attempt to control others which is not good rushing leads to anger when we're rushing to work rushing out the house rushing during our errands that could lead to anger or irritability such as road rage. So the answer is to remember God is in control and he will fix the problem. So we can relax and we can calm down. He's going to fix it. And he's going to turn it into your favor. And remember anger is many times a symptom of fear. So the answer is to trust God and stop being afraid. And realize what are we angry about? What are we angry about? So get to the root of the problem of why you're angry. And so, yeah, so we don't want to be angry. It's a waste of time. It can lead to depression. It's a form of depression. And so we just don't want to waste time being angry. 
I'm sure you've wasted enough time being angry. That's why you're watching this video. I know I have. I don't want to waste any more time in my life being angry. Because it's a, it's a tempt from the devil to steal our joy. That's what it is. And so when you keep these things in mind that I share with you, you'll be able to quell or calm down your angry emotions. So I, I hope that uh, this has been a blessing to you. So I encourage you to not be angry. To not be angry, but to be joyful and happy. And to focus on the good, the positive, not the negative. The good, the positive, not the negative.